All right, guys. So, this is information that I picked up while I was at the Southeast Homeschool Expo that, for one reason or another, um, was stand out to me. And I wanted to kind of give a shout out and mention them. So, I'm going to start with Tandem EDU. Any of you that are local to Social Circle Georgia and are available on August 11th, I suggest you uh, come see Tandem EDU. Come listen to Christine. She's going to be doing some presentations at the Homeschool Bash that is Social Circle Georgia on August 11th. If you comment below this video, I will make sure you get more information like location and time and all of that. But Tandem EDU is a dual enrollment. So if you have high schoolers, they are able to do high school and college classes. And by the time they are done with high school, they actually have a college degree. Um, I want to say that it's an associate's. So the program gives your students a head start on their college degree. Um, Tacoa Falls, very awesome. Uh, so I recommend if you've got a high schooler looking to get a head start uh, on college classes, check out Tandem EDU. They are not the only dual enrollment option, but Christine is awesome. So I'm giving her a shout out. I want you to check them out. Next, educational experiences, E squared. Um, first of all, they give, they gave out these little mints in a test tube and I thought that was the coolest thing ever. I know, it doesn't take much to excite me. <laughs> all right, so educational experiences specializes in medical science classes for high schoolers going into medical fields. So you get your textbook and all your info and, and everything and they go through the basic medical knowledge that you would know if you had any career in anything medical related. Um, and Dr. Ellen was such a hoot to talk to. She is just so amazing. So again, check these guys out if you have a student interested in medicine or anything in the medical field check out educational experiences all right i'm gonna move up here schiller math they have some of the most amazing manipulatives for math and we are not talking chintzy cheap breakable these are wood and metal and serious, they're not going to fall apart on you, all right? So, if you're in the field shopping for some manipulatives to use in your math, they've got a whole fractions kit, make sure you check out Schiller. Um, they also have English, apparently, language arts. I'm not familiar with their language arts, but that looks kind of neat too. Make sure you guys go check them out. awesome 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 stuff all right again it's not chintzy 
it's gonna stand up to even the toughest little learners all right now i'm really bummed that this is the only information i got on this curriculum because their whole display was just drool worthy it was awesome if you have got a student that is into nature learning if you have got a student that loves Little House on the Prairie, um, you have got to check these guys out. It was just awesome. I, I was kind of um, a little awestruck, and I think that's why this was the only info that I picked up on them. But I definitely wanted to give them a shout out because it was so cool. All right? Um, Red Rock Traditions. I'm going to see if I can get the book out of this bag. This is, um, Christian Home Items. Uh, if any of you have heard of a company called Mary and Martha, um, this is very much similar to that. It's all, uh, family items. Christian values, really neat home decor stuff, and it is like right up there, right up in my alley. So I had to check it out. Um, it is from the same people that do the the little willow statues, um, you know, the little angels and the little families. It is the same people uh, that do Red Rock. So there's her info. Um, she was so super, super sweet. Uh, talked to me for quite a while while I was drooling over their products. Um, second to last, Biblical History Center. This place is not too far from me. And I have not been there yet. It was on my list to go last year and we did not make it. Um, but they have a homeschool day this year. And unfortunately, I already had plans. <laughs> but we are totally going on a different day. The thing that is so cool about the Biblical History Center is it has a, a walkthrough of what life was like in biblical times. And you can, the programs that they have, you can make bread like a shepherd. You can make butter. You can learn what being a shepherd in biblical history was like. Um, and I think my kids would just love that. Uh, then they have a timeline, like a museum that you can walk through. That basically walks you through the Bible and what life was like. All right. So, I definitely, um, definitely, definitely, again, make sure you guys, if you are close to them, go check them out. It looks awesome. And, last but not least, uh, in my other video, I mentioned some Civil War posters that I got for free. It was from these guys. Alright? And, they had a ton of... Of Civil War info um, this little booklet talks about the different counties why they were important in the Civil War so that is going right on my shelf with my history books because we are doing Georgia State History this year and you cannot talk about Georgia State history without talking about the importance of the Civil War. Because it's everywhere down here. Alright. Now. Another thing I want to mention. Aside from all of the parks that you can go to. All of the Civil War sites that you can visit.
this organization has an art contest and an essay contest every year. And I talked to her about this. The art contest last year, they got about 300 entries, which is pretty good. Um, but your chances of winning one of those amazing cash prizes, if you've got an awesome artist, enter this contest. All right. And you'll notice that there is a topic, so your art should fit within that topic. Make sure you check out those rules. And if you have any other questions about the contest or how to get into it, make sure that you email that email. Um, the gal at the booth was super, super nice, super knowledgeable. Um, this, these are essays from former contests. So this was the second place winner in the sixth to eighth grade category. And this was 2016-2017. So you can read this essay. Just hit that pause button and read this essay. And get an idea of what they're expecting for this essay contest. The lady told me that last year for this essay contest, they had 40 entries. 40. 4. 0. Just 40 entries. That is crazy good odds to win one of those prizes. So, write you an essay. I mean, no, don't, you don't write an essay. Get those kids to write an essay. <laughs> All right, it's sixth grade through eighth grade and then ninth grade through 12th grade. If you have got a middle schooler or high schooler, get them to write an essay and send it into this contest, folks. You don't know, you might end up winning one of those prizes. All right, and especially if you are doing Georgia history or if you are learning about the Civil War, just fit this in with your curriculum, fit this in with the work that you're doing, and see if, the, if your kiddo can win you some moolah. All right, that is um, all of the info except for the authors. I've got my, my list of authors over here. That's going to be in another video. So make sure that you guys check back with me, all right?